today and I'm going to show y'all how to get your toaster to run. I mean, it, it's, it'll run, but it's not going to be the best quality, but, you know, toaster life. You're going to be able to run a game like Conan Exiles. Now, to give you an idea of how toaster my toaster is, it's an E2 1800 machine. It's got a 1.7 GHZ processor speed. And I added some more RAM, I added 8 more gigs of RAM. I think it initially had like 6 gigs. No, it must have had. Whatever it has now, what is it, 12? How much RAM did I add? I added 8 RAM. 8 gig, whatever. I have 12 gigs of RAM now. I'm not gonna. I'm too distracted by the other stuff I gotta go for, which is 384 MB of video RAM. Now, if you like to play games and you, you look at what things need, you're gonna be fully aware of this. Are so, those are some really low specs. I mean, you got okay RAM. Your, your, your regular RAM is alright. But your VRAM and your processing speed. Are toaster. Anyway, today I'm gonna show y'all how to get your toaster to be able to process Conan Exiles. And I'm doing this with recording software running in the background, which is uh, as if things weren't bottlenecking enough. This is bottlenecking even more. Alright. So first thing we want to do, I've got a list of little things I do. I'm going to turn down shadow quality to zero. Turn off shadow, that's a big jump in the FPS. Bloom quality zero. That's R dot bloom quality. All of these, well almost all of them are R dot. So it's R dot or period shadow quality. R period bloom quality. And always put a space and then zero. When you type in the thing, It'll just show you what you're looking for, just hit the up key, and then space, zero. It's simple. So, bloom quality, zero. Particle light quality, zero. Yeah, R dot particle light quality, zero. And then... R dot fluid quality, zero. R dot ambient occlusion max quality, zero. R dot allow landscape shadow. Wait, is that our S? Yeah, it's R dot allow landscape shadows, zero. And P dot cloth physics zero. That's a big one. And then screen percentage. You can drop it to 80. Usually I play single player, so 90 is good enough for me. But you can drop it to 80, and that's like the minimum. If you go, the lower you go, the more 8-bit looking it gets. To the to the point where you're going on exiles, you realize, oh, this don't work in 8. This just looks like a blurry mess. This is what it would look like if my eyes were... Yeah, don't do it. So... Now, even with the video recording stuff in the background and everything going on... I'm actually hitting 8 FPS on a toaster. A toaster, remember that. 1.7 GHC processing speed, 384 MB of video RAM. I'm pretty sure that most of y'all got a machine that's better than that. So, you're gonna definitely see more than 8 FPS. Alright, this thing is like from 2000, like 8, 2009, I mean it's, it's, a, it's a dinosaur. We're in 2018, that's almost a 10 year old machine. But anyway, I just wanted to, you know, show you all that there's hope. If you've got a computer that's low in, as long as it's better than mine, well, you'll be alright. And with the video recording, I can have a little bit of trouble moving. 
Alright, well, that's really what I wanted to show y'all. So this the list of things to put in if you want to maximize FPS and performance at a minimal cost of looks. You know, you can still have things like medium, but if you do these things, it takes some of the quality out, but it's gonna take you know quality for performance wise, it's your best deal. Alright, now today y'all make it great. I'll take care. See ya.